Last week I made a video showing you how to make Krabby Patties to celebrate Spongebob Squarepants, a sponge out of water which came out on the 27th of March. I'm continuing my Spongebob celebrations by making this gorgeous Spongebob Squarepants cake. Before you get intimidated and turn off, I'm not very artistic, I'm not a great cake maker, but the great thing about Spongebob Squarepants is it's all squares and circles, very geometric, very easy to do. First, you need a cake. This was a 9 by 13 inch rectangular cake pan. I chopped off the bottom just a couple of inches and cut out two little squares, these will be his legs, and then I simply covered it in a chocolatey buttercream for no reason other than I really like chocolate. Next, you need your fondants. I've got yellow fondant, white fondant, black, light blue, brown, kind of a ready brown and red. Most of these you can dye yourself but I have bought some yellow and I have bought some black. I bought the yellow because it's really important for Spongebob that you get a really nice yellow and bright finish that I wasn't confident I could replicate with dyeing my own and black, it's really hard to dye your own black fondant so I always buy it. So I've got my fondant, I've got my cake, let's make Spongebob. Take your yellow and knead it so it's nice and soft. Then you need to roll it out, I always like to roll it out to the thickness of a pound coin. And then drape this over your rolling pin and then over your cake. Now I'm going to use the brown and do exactly the same but I'm going to cover the bottom half of his body for his trousers and also his little legs. Just cut out a strip of white for his waistband. Great, now let's give him some features. I'm going to use my cookie cutters to cut out his eyes. I'm going to use a bit more of my yellow and make like a tube for his nose. I'm going to make the mouth and his teeth and his lips and everything. I'm going to do this freehand. Spongebob has really cute dimples as well, so I'm going to cut these out using my smallest cutter and then I'm just going to kind of cut a little half moon shape to give them little dimples. I think he's starting to look pretty good, but we need to put some details on him now, like his freckles and his eyelashes. His legs are basically little tubes, so make a little sausage out of your yellow, do the same with white, and then add some bands of blue and red, and little shoes out of black. No one's going to be looking at this, so don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. Little squares for his sleeves. This is the bit that's quite fun, I'm going to use my measuring spoons to create the sponge effect. Basically just use the back of the spoon and push it in to kind of make that indentation in the fondant and use different sizes because you have lots and you can get some variety and make it look really cool. His arms and hands are the bit I'm worried about. I have no advice, just go for it.
give it a go. You can always get the kids to help out. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm so proud of it. I almost don't want to eat it. That's how I'm going to. I don't know where to cut. I don't want to hurt him. Sorry, SpongeBob. He's really cute and he tastes delicious.